So, if you want the quick review of Tony Northrup's stunning digital photography book or ebook, and depending how you get it, here it is. With 233 pages and over three hours of video training, um, with quizzes to help you remember what you've learned, practical examples to go out and try yourself, and exclusive access to a reader's forum and a Facebook page for dedica- get dedicated help, and you also get free updates for life with this book. Whether you buy it as an ebook for about a fiver or a paperback with the ebook for about 15 quid, it's an absolute bargain for the beginning photographer or the maybe the more advanced shooter who wants to revisit the basics or learn more about a specific area of photography. I think along with the likes of Scott Kelby's digital photo book or I think digital photography book, I'd say that um, Tony Northrup's stunning digital photography, you know, it's pretty much a must buy. And it's the type of book that have you reading through the whole thing first, and then you could be coming back to it as a reference for the rest of your photo- photographic life where you want to sharpen your skills about uh, a particular genre. So that's the quick part over. And now let's get into the details of if you're not convinced or maybe you're a little bit sceptical about how good, good this book is. Now, the first thing, Tony Northrup knows how to write instruction manuals. He's written over 25 of the things for Microsoft, um, O'Reilly, and Sam's Publishing. And I've got to say, this book, when it comes to the learning the technical sides of large parts of the art, it's really comprehensive indeed. Each chapter includes a detailed explanation of why and how you should go about photographing a certain scene or situation. The camera equipment and settings you might need, um, and then there's the links to videos or embedded videos, depending on how you how you're reading the book, whether you're reading it on an ebook, where you read it, or you know on your laptop or on your phone, uh, that take you off and show you real world examples of Tony normally working with um, his uh, his wife Chelsea um, doing the things that we're talking about, and it's you know when we say you know when we learn how to do things, you know people show us. And then we can, uh, you know, we watch them and then we go go away and try. Um, those those YouTube videos, videos are incredibly, incredibly helpful. Um, and then there's also, as part of each chapter, there's an online quiz where you can click through and answer questions about things. So it'd be like, you know, which um, focal length may be best for doing a headshot and things like this. And you might think... If you're a more advanced photographer, you might think, oh, these things are really obvious, but I guarantee you there'll be some questions in there that will have you thinking about, well, actually, you know, maybe I should be doing it, should be doing it this way. And what I also like about the quizzes is often there isn't a right and a wrong answer. There might be several answers that are right about it too. And then there's also like practical things to go away and try um, as well, you know, like homework assignments get to go, go away to kind of sharpen your skills and to make you remember you know, what you've just been learning about. In uh, Studying Digital Photography, or SDP as it's called uh, often, Tony covers uh, quick tips, composition, lighting, controlling your camera, problem solving, um, and then he goes into more detail with chapters on portraits, weddings, animal photography, landscapes, nights, HDR, macro and close-up, and underwater photography. And the length of each chapter really varies, reflecting kind of Tony's strength and experience on the various subjects, um, with probably bird photography and the portrait chapters being the most comprehensive. Um, but also remember that Tony is committed to giving you a lifetime of free updates for this book. So as he includes more information, the book <laughs> will get bigger, things will be um, updated, and uh, and I'm sure he's going to increase the scope as well. You know, I'd like to see maybe sections on sports photography, maybe motorsport photography, astrophotography. He does some night photography with stars, but you know, how to to really zoom in and take photographs of um, planets and solar systems and things, um, uh, uh, galaxies and things like that with telescopes, and maybe a little bit more on post processing. Post processing. Now I know he does do the separate Lightroom books, but it would be nice to have a a bit about maybe even the things about simple post processing in Picasso and uh, Lightroom, maybe Photoshop, the GIMP, because as much as we talk about technique and how to do stuff, um, post-processing with digital photography is kind of, it it really is key. Almost every single photograph you take will benefit from some kind of uh, post-processing. Because if you think about the days when we used to use film, the post-processing, say for colour film, was really baked into the film already. That's why people use different types of film, because they had different looks. Um, you know, a, a, a negative 
uh, film negative doesn't look like a raw file. Raw files, um, and even JPEGs to a certain extent, can be quite bland, and they need the colours, they need the contrast raising often. Um, and so I think it would be important to, to have a little bit more detail about that as well. Um, I'd also like to see Tony include maybe a few more hands-picked stock photographs for his examples. Most of the photos he includes, you know, they are stunning, um, which he or his wife has taken. But one of the biggest parts about learning to take better photographs is by looking at really great photos. So maybe more of a breadth of talent on show uh, in the book would definitely improve the publication. I'd also say that it does have the feel of a bit of a technical manual. I mean, because you can argue, you know, photography is a large part technical, isn't it? Um, and there's not that much example of, of humour in it as well. So I'll tell you what I'd like to see. I'd like to see more input from Chelsea as well. Because if you watch their live show uh, on YouTube, she, you know, she is really, really funny <laughs> with what she says. And I'd like to see more of that in, go into the book as well. Because it would kind of liven things up a bit and uh, it would bring a smile to your face while you're learning all this great information too. Now, I only bought the digital version of this book, but I like it so much that I'll definitely be buying the paperback version and Tony's Lightroom book as well. And then I'll do a review of that soon. Um, so I recommend if you're a beginner photographer or a more experienced photographer looking to revisit, you know, some of the basics or learn about some different aspects of photography, I'd say, you know, head on over to Amazon or Tony's own website over it. I think it's sdpcommunity.com. Again, I'll put links in the show notes down below. Um, grab yourself a copy of SDP. You know, it really is highly recommended. Okay, that's enough from me. If you've enjoyed the video, please like it. Please share it. If you enjoyed listening to me, please subscribe and I'll see you again soon.